Hello there. At the moment, Disney and Pixar are close buddies, and they've been producing quite a number of sequels in the last couple of years, with a Finding Nemo one set to be released in three years. However, there was a time when tensions were high between the two, and we almost got three direct video sequels to Pixar films without Pixar. During that brief period when Disney and Pixar were split up, Michael Eisner decided to open up a studio called Circle 7 Animation that would make these sequels, and considering the clause in the contract stating that the mouse owned the rights to all of Pixar's characters, they can make these without input from John Laster and the rest of the team. Probably the most widely known of these projects, Greenlit, was Toy Story 3. One of the first scripts written from the creators of Teacher's Pet was like a murder mystery set in the attic of Andy's grandmother. Woody, Buzz, and the others are sent there where they encounter a monkey toy, a garden gnome, and a cat who loves chewing on toys. Eventually, Meet the Parents writer Jim Hersfeld pitched a story idea that Disney Brass liked, and this was the script that spent the most time in production. The story revolved around Buzz Lightyear breaking down, and so the toys sent him back to his factory in Taiwan to get fixed. However, upon finding out he will stay there due to a major recall, the toys ship themselves over there to save him. Another script that was written was a sequel to Monsters, Inc., and I have to admit, the storyline had some potential. The premise revolved around Mike and Sully visiting Boo for her birthday, only to find out she has moved away, and have to find her in the human world. I actually think this sequel had some potential to work, becoming quite emotional and further developing the closeness between Sully and Boo. It also would have been funny to see the two monsters having to maneuver around big cities and other human-filled places in search of Boo. Maybe they could have ran into Randall again, you know, if he wasn't eaten by those trailer folk in the first one. Word among animation insiders who read the script was it was actually really good, but I guess we'll never know. And this may sound blasphemous, but I actually like this story idea more than the actual Monsters, Inc. prequel we got. I thought Monsters University was okay, but I feel like this never-produced sequel had more potential to be a worthy successor. Pitchforks and torches over to your left. There was also a script written for Fighting Nemo 2, but there haven't been a lot of details revealed about that story. Ultimately, when Disney bought Pixar and Laster was put in charge of the animation units, Circle 7 was closed down, and most of the hired animators and artists were shifted over to Disney's feature animation department. Since the closure, Pixar has done the sequels by themselves, and they reportedly not looked at the scripts that were written. In conclusion, while it's good we didn't get the Circle 7 Toy Story 3 in favor of the Pixar one, I cannot help but have a certain amount of curiosity towards them and what could have been. See you next time.